Well, my onions are all gone, but I got a lot of grass and weeds in there right now to get taken care of. So let me get them out, try to get this cleaned up, and I believe I can get uh, want to get another row of squash planted. Uh, the other two rows I got, they're kind of they're still doing okay, but some of the plants are giving up. So wouldn't hurt to go ahead and get me another row going, and maybe plant a couple more rows of peas. As you can see, I'm well on my way toward getting this grass and weeds and stuff out of here. Looking a whole lot better. You could take the bottom plow and just turn it upside down. Take the tiller and tear it all up. But I like to just go ahead and get the grass out. That way I know it's done. And one of the things that I do is just, I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed. Just work toward, work toward the grass. Chop it as you're going. Just keep getting it out. And especially like right here, you got all this wire grass. You don't want to, you don't want to take the tiller and tear that stuff up, mix it in. All it's going to do, every little piece that gets in the ground, is just going to be another place where it's going to grow. Every little piece of wire grass you leave laying, that stuff is going to come right back. It's it's hard to get rid of. Best thing you do is just pull it all out, take the shovel sometimes to dig up the roots, and you don't have to worry about it. And once you get it all uh, loosened up like that, you're going to take the rake and just rake across it and pull pull all that crap to the outside. And then uh, when you end up, it'll be nice and clean. You can go back and get the rest of it if you want to. Or then it's in a condition where I I don't mind going ahead and tilling that stuff up. And uh, if some of it comes back, that's not a problem. But I don't want to turn all these big clumps of grass up under because um, more than likely they're not going to die. They're just going to lay there and come right back. Alright, that looks a whole lot more like it. Got all the grass and weeds and stuff out of there. Most of it anyway. There's still a little bit of small stuff in there. But I ain't too much worried about that. I just try to get the biggest stuff out. And what I'm going to do is take the bottom plow, go across this, and turn it. And go on up the hill a little bit. As you can see, this wire grass... It's starting to encroach on back down the hill again. When I first, this stuff is nasty too. When I first started working this garden in uh, 2007, after my neighbor had been working it for several years, it was eat up with wire grass. Absolutely eat up with it. And it took a, it took a few years to finally get it all out. I come out here with a shovel instead of hoeing with a, or chopping weeds with a hoe. I do it with a shovel because I had to dig down and find a root ball, get that wire grass out. But I'm gonna go get the tractor and the bottom plow turn this stuff up and bring it on back up the hill some and uh, try to get this uh, wire grass into retreat mode just a little bit. It's coming down the hill uh, too far. Alright, this is what I'm going to do now. i got three rows there. I'm going to take the two outside rows for beans. The inside row beside the tomatoes, we're going to plant some squash and zucchini. And for the squash zucchini row, i got four buckets right here of my uh, composted manure. It's I turned the pile over yesterday, and she's coming along real nice. Uh, still got some heat in it. Uh, got some more composting to do, but she's well on the way. Going to be some real good stuff. And for the beans, what I'm going to do is just uh, put some 5, 10, 10 in the rows. Not worried about fertilizing them real heavily. Uh, what I'm going to do is get this stuff in the, into each of the rows. Rake it in real good. Then build me a little uh, little trench right in the middle of that. And drop my seeds in there. Alright, now we'll just take the rake. Blend it in a little bit. Alright, what I'm going to plant is half a row of Black Beauty Zucchini and half a row of uh, yellow 
crook neck squash. I don't have any straight neck right now, so we're going to do the crook neck. It's pretty warm out here. And I'll tell you how warm it is. I laid them squash seed down and forgot to make me a little furrow in the row. So what I'm going to do is just take the rake and pull some dirt over top of them. Sun done got to my head, I think. Alright, now I'm going to put these snap beans in the ground. Beans, peas, whatever they are. I went back and finished shelling the ones I had in the greenhouse. Got most of the chaff out of them, or the uh, broken up holes, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to stick these in the ground. I'm going to make sure I save a few just in case it don't make a crop and I need to start the process again with saving seed. I right, just covered them beans up lightly. I went back to see what day I actually planted this uh, this row of squash and the beans and it was uh, June 21st today is July 20th so it's been right at 30 days now and you can see how fast uh, you can get squash to grow in the summertime it's a little bit slower when it first starts out in the spring but when you plant that second crop of squash when you've already got 90 degree temperatures it takes off like a rocket I've laid me a soaker hose down up under it and that's working out real good you can see how upright those plants are right now nice and straight we haven't had any uh, storms anything the last uh, two weeks now so they've been able to just grow straight up they're going to be falling over here pretty shortly just as soon as we get a, a decent wind looking down inside of here you can see my little bitty squash already coming on and this is uh planted 30 days ago that's uh that's pretty quick I've already sprayed the base down real good with some uh, liquid 7 trying to control the squash bugs I haven't had any rain in, in a while now so I really haven't had to go back and reapply it but since they have grown so much here in the last couple of weeks I may go ahead and hit them again in a day or so and the two little rows of peas still looking good too that's not bad for uh, 30 days of putting them in the ground and the point they are right now. That's pretty good. We'll be eating squash here in uh, probably about 10 more days. And still got a few more weeks on the peas, but no hurry on them. So that's how I go from uh, taking out one crop. In this case, it was the onions. And following them up with something else. And just uh, if, as long as you keep... Uh, a good plan you know what you're doing next you can grow a ton of food in the summertime just as soon as something else finishes one thing finishes throw something else in the ground much like the Arkansas travelers right there as soon as the potatoes were done I already had those uh, transplants ready to go and got them in the ground and they're they're looking good too I need to get me some more cages out here but uh, it's on my list y'all take care and we'll see you next time